Hello, in this video we're going to show a, two relationships between the determinant, the trace, and the eigenvalues of a matrix. And let's just jump right in. So here if we have a matrix A that's M by M, and let's say it has eigenvalues 1 through M, we want to show that the trace of A, which means uh, add the diagonal elements, is equal to the sum of the eigenvalues and the determinant of the matrix is the product of the eigenvalues. Okay, so first when you're calculating eigenvalues you you uh, set up this characteristic equation and then you take the determinant of this uh, matrix minus this difference which is equivalent to putting that in the diagonal elements of A. Okay, it can be shown that that this determinant is equivalent to this in polynomial form, form. Now some will leave out the negatives here and just put that in with the uh, the coefficient but they're equivalent. So here's the polynomial form and what we want to do is um, to, to find these two relationships we're going to look at this coefficient uh, alpha 0 and this coefficient alpha m minus 1. So first let's solve for alpha 0 and that is when all the lambdas are 0. You're left with alpha 0. So but lambda 0 in here means that that goes away and we're just taking the determinant of a. So this smallest coefficient is the determinant of a now, for the coefficient of uh, alpha m minus 1, it's a little bit trickier, but we'll, we'll go through it. So here is the characteristic equation, and in matrix form, it's this, which, which really you just subtract a lambda down the diagonal elements of this matrix. Okay? So, one... Um, one note about the determinant, and maybe we'll just discuss it first, is this is a, it, it's equivalent to taking the uh, sum of these elements, the product of m elements, all, all unique ways, all permutations of m elements, such that you take one from a row and column they can't overlap so if we if we just go column by column let's say we take this number here um, and then we could take it times this number and then this and then that you know as long as they don't crisscross and then we're going to add that to you know maybe pick this element first and then this and then that and you know and one of them is you know this the product of the diagonals now of course this is all adjusted by a plus or a minus but it's essentially it okay so the determinant it produces all products of m terms of of matrix a such that exactly one element from each row and each column is in that product okay so we're looking at the um, m minus one or the coefficient to the m minus one lambda parameter or variable and then uh, so how can we get M you know a uh, you know how, how can we get this coefficient raised the lambda to the M minus 1 and if we look at all the products um, let's say we take this one first and then this one and then we take all the diagonal elements well the biggest lambda power we can get is m minus 2. So there's really no way that you can take these products and get a lambda of raised to the m minus 1 except for the, the in this product of this diagonal of each one of those. Now so how can we get the m minus 1 power? Well if we take the product of all these numbers here, 
one of the the one parameter is going to be raised to the m minus one. All the other lambda parameters will be raised to some number less than that. So let's take that lambda to the m minus one times this. Well, if we take it times that, it gets raised to the m. You know, so it has to be this. So if we take these numbers and multiply it times a1. So we have one of the lambda m minus 1 parameters has a coefficient a1. But now let's do that. Let's take let's leave this one out and multiply this times every one of those. So if we multiply this times every one of these the the lambda that we get raised to the m minus 1, we have to take it times this which Taking it times this, we get it raised to the m, but taking it times this, it stays m minus 1. So that coefficient is a2 lambda to the m minus uh, 1. Okay, And then we can do that for each of these. So eventually we're going to get down to where we leave this. You know, we take the product of all these and get the lambda to the m minus 1 and take it times this. And that lambda parameter to the m minus 1 will have this as a coefficient. So um, really there's only one way to achieve um, lambda to the m minus 1 and that's the product of all the diagonal elements which is this. Okay and and uh, and perhaps uh, you know just heuristically argued that the coefficient for that for the lambda m minus 1 it has to be it's the sum of these elements so the lambda or the alpha m minus 1 parameter is the sum of the uh, diagonal elements of a which is the trace of a so now if we look at the eigenvalues of a and they are the roots of the characteristic equation. That means we can rewrite the characteristic equation in this form because the product of the product equal to zero says, hey, one of these has to be zero. And so if you take, um, you know, if you solve for this one, you get lambda is uh, lambda one, which is a characteristic or a eigenvalue. So this is another way to express that polynomial. Well, we can use the same argument here in that if we take this product, there's only one way to get um, the coefficient of alpha 1. And let me pull this back up here, see if we can see it here. So here's, here's the, pol the polynomial form. So this coefficient has no lambdas, but in this product, there's only one way to get, you know, have the possibility of no lambda. That's the, the product of each of these eigenvalues. So the, in using this way, uh, alpha zero is the product of the uh, eigenvalues, which is the determinant of A, because we, we determined that that is the determinant of A earlier. And the same way here, there's only one way to get um, uh, lambda raised to the m minus 1. That's to take, say, the product of all of these to get a lambda to the m minus 1, and then take it times that coefficient, you know, to this number. And then, and then you repeat. If you leave this term out and multiply all these, you can get a lambda to the m minus 1, but then you have to take that times these, and the only way to keep it at m minus 1 is multiply it by this one. So that coefficient is lambda 2. So um, the lambda or the alpha m minus 1 parameter we said was the trace of A, but in here um, we're saying that, that this coefficient is also the sum of the lambdas based upon what we just uh, discussed which is a trace of A and then that proves that these two relationships hold. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.